and the hadith of the Prophet Muhammad sallam. It's mentioned in Sunnah Tirmidhi, volume number four, chapter number sixty, hadith number two five one seven. Anas ibn Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. He said that once a man, he asked the Prophet, "Should I tie it, that is my camel, and trust in Allah, or should I leave it, leave my camel and then trust in Allah?" The Prophet said, "Tie it, tie your camel and then trust in Allah." That does not mean that you leave your camel and then say that I have got trust in Allah, Tawakkulullah, I have got trust in Allah. You can't leave your door open and then say, you know, I've got trust in Allah, no robber will come. You have to close your door and then trust in Allah. Trust in Allah is important, but also following the guidance of Allah is important. And for success, trust in Allah is the most important. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number three, verse number 160. If Allah helps you, none can overcome you. If Allah forsakes you, who is there then who can help you? So let the believers put the trust in Allah. Allah says in Surah Ankabut, chapter number 29, verse number 69, that if you strive in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He will open up your pathways. Allah also says in Surah Nahal, chapter number 16, verse 43, and Surah Ambiya, chapter number 21, verse number 7, Fas alu ahali zikri in kuntum la ta'lamun. If you don't know, Ask the person who is knowledgeable. Ask the one who possesses the message. So for success, first is trust in Allah. Number two is striving. Doing jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number three is ask the person who knows. Even planning is important. Even goal setting is important.